Hi everybody, and uh, before I begin this uh, screencast, I just want to uh, say Happy Father's Day uh, to all you dads out there. So, once again, Happy Father's Day. Okay, I thought I would take a break from um, Linux and talking about Linux and Ubuntu and Linux Mint and stuff like that and uh, spend some more time on uh, Windows since I do use Windows about half the time or so. On this edition of Total OS today, I wanted to talk about the, how to prevent Windows viruses. And you may have noticed I'm actually using Ubuntu instead of Windows to uh, do this uh, screencast. Since uh, this uh, screencast is about prevention uh, versus cleaning out a machine, uh, I just figured it wouldn't make any difference if I did this uh, screencast in Windows or in a Linux. Um, Linux environment. Okay, how to prevent Windows viruses. For those of you who follow my uh, channel, you know, or some of you know, that I have not not gotten a Windows virus in over a year now. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, how to prevent Windows viruses. Number one, start with a clean machine. Um, Obviously, if you already have a virus, then this particular screencast is not for you. So, start with a clean machine. If you are out uh, searching or shopping for a new computer, then of course you will already have a clean machine. Um, if you have a clean machine, or excuse me, if you have a computer that has been infected, uh, if you really wanted to use this screencast, the only advice I would tell you right now is to, number one, back up all your important information if you can and then reinstall the operating system starting from scratch because that is really the only way to guarantee to start with a clean machine. Okay, let's assume that you have a clean machine. Number two, you want to install an antivirus. Uh, number three, install ThreatFire, which is a companion uh, piece of protection, piece of protection to an antivirus, uh, and, and I'll explain that shortly. Uh, number four is use a safe browser, or I should say safer browser, although the uh, Internet Explorer 8 I've been using, I haven't had any issues, but you can use a safer browser such as Firefox or, or, or Opera. Uh, number five, uh, don't open untrusted email. And number six, I briefly talked about this, uh, is to have the recovery disks as a backup. Okay, number one, obviously if you're going to uh, prevent Windows viruses, again, you want to uh, start with a clean machine. It just makes sense. Uh, and the only way to really be sure is to uh, have the Windows XP, Vista, or uh, Windows 7 disk ready to go and reformat the hard drive uh, after you have backed up all your important information. If you do not have the disks, disks or disks, you can usually get them from the vendor such as uh, HP, Compaq, or whatever type of computer you have but keep in mind that I've noticed a lot of computers today will allow you to to create your own uh, installation disks and I believe sometimes or many times a window or a warning or a notice will pop up uh, prompting you to create those installation disks um, if you see that prompt very very important uh, create those disks before you install or go online or do anything because those disk or disks can be your lifesaver. Okay, number two, install an antivirus. Uh, and I will uh, show you several of my favorite. Okay, number one, and these are not necessarily in any particular order, is Avast. Um, I've been using this off and on for years. I think it works great. Uh, if you go to their website, avast.com, as you see here, there is a free version of it uh, for home use only, which you can download. It works fine. Um, 
the one thing I do like about this one is that it does offer a, uh, a boot time scan uh, when you reboot before you actually boot into Windows to clean up your machine. So Avast is a very fine um, antivirus for Windows. Number two is Komodo from Komodo.com. This is an all-in-one antivirus, which uh, I'll just read it here real, real quick. It features a firewall, antivirus, prevents malware for, uh, for being installed, easy to install, configure, and use. It's free to both business and home users. Now, I won't read all the features here. Uh, this works pretty good. It's it's not quite as simple to use, I would say, or I know it has more features than Avast. So if you wanted, if you're into keeping it simple, Avast may be the way to go. Although Komodo is not that hard to use. Uh, number third on my list of antivirus would be Avira Antivir, and again, as you see here, there is a free version. This is probably the most a simple one to use out of the three antivirus programs but honestly why not uh, download them all and try them all not at the same time meaning do not install these at the same time because that will trash your system so if you want to and this is what I did I just downloaded all of them installed one at a time and and uh, you know like that saying goes your mileage may vary your performance may vary with these type of free programs so once again feel free to download them all and try them all just do not I repeat do not install them all at the same time and will it will not work and lastly this is my uh, secret secret weapon there if you will this is threat fire this is something fairly new and you can go to threatfire.com this particular piece of antivirus actually does allow you to install at the same time in addition to any antivirus that you have let's say for example you installed uh, this one here which is Avira you can actually download install this and install threatfire at the same time uh, I'm not sure of all on how the specifics work, but basically, uh, just to keep it short, these other antiviruses work on signature-based scanning versus ThreatFire, which works on behavior-based uh, software. Uh, I'll just read some of the features here real quick. Uh, how can ThreatFire protect me from when traditional antiviruses can't? Uh, ThreatFire continually pr protects your PC against attacks by detecting malicious behavior such as capturing your keystrokes, stealing data, instead of only looking for known threats like normal antivirus software. By implementing sophisticated real-time behavioral analysis, ThreatFire is able to stop never-before-seen zero-day threats solely by detecting their malicious activity. Now, if you don't know what zero-day threats are, you can just click this link there and go from there. But basically, ThreatFire works on behavior versus signature analysis. Okay, uh, let's go back to the list here. Uh, number four is use a safe browser my favorite browser right now is what I'm using here and it's Firefox although this isn't the only safer browser than Internet Explorer